number one cable news show for 16 years and counting. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Eric Bowling in for Bill O'Reilly in the Factor follow-up segment tonight. President Obama weighing in tonight on the release of the declassified report on Russian hacking. The president says it's clear the Russians meddled and had some words for anyone who doubts it. One of the things that I am concerned about is the degree to which uh, we've seen a lot of commentary lately where there were Republicans or pundits or cable commentators who seem to have more confidence in Vladimir Putin than fellow Americans because those fellow Americans are Democrats. That cannot be. Does that include the president-elect? Uh, well, uh, what I will say is that, um, and I said this right after the election, we have to remind ourselves we're on the same team. Vladimir Putin's not on our team. Joining us now from Houston to analyze national security analyst Arash Aramesh and with us in studio Scott Eulinger, a former CIA operations officer who worked in the former Soviet Union for 12 years. I want to get with you because you're the right guy at the right time. Hang on though. Arash, I'm reading this report. I'm looking for the smoking gun. I can't find the gun and it ain't smoking. <laughs> well, if you read the report carefully, oh, okay. you will see that That's three my problem. things are mentioned. I didn't, I didn't read it carefully enough. That's what you're saying. Go ahead. I did, <laughs> I did but go ahead. Let, let, let's hear what you have well, to say. Well, you know, one thing they teach in law school is critical reading, and I'm very glad I went to law school. So, But when you read critically <laughs> and carefully Touché. and you analyze You, you know what they teach in high line, school? Kind of. when, you, uh, you when you have a, when you have a theory, you have to test the theory, and you have to prove the theory. I'm still looking for the prove part of this theory. And there is a difference, Eric, between intelligence and evidence. We're talking about an intelligence report. The NSA, the FBI, and the CIA, uh, through the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, came out with this report. This is a declassified version of a much more detailed and classified version of a report that says three things. A, there was an organized, orchestrated effort by high-level Russian officials, including President Vladimir Putin, to try to influence our election. B. Russian intelligence and Russian hackers partake, partook and took part in this hack. And C, we have to make sure that going forward, we have the necessary tools in place to okay. prevent okay. Thank, such attacks that, on good, our democracy good, and our country. True. I'll give you A, B, and C. The problem, Scott, uh, Scott is that uh, these are, again, theories and hypotheses without any evidence to prove it. Right. I mean, I've reviewed the report, and uh, it's certainly, put it this way, most of the things I see in this report these conditions existed at least 10 years ago. The, this administration has never indicated an interest in Russian operations against this country until it seems to have hurt the Democratic Party. Now suddenly they have become aware of the Russian threat a day late and a dollar short at the 11th hour. Okay, Arash, what's new in this report? I mean, Scott points out, that the, by the way, there are a lot of countries doing this. I mean, we, we know exactly. at least four or five actors who are actively trying to do the exact same thing. You know, uh, Scott and myself, we, you know, you lived and worked in, uh, in uh, ex-Soviet Union. Uh, we worked in uh, Moldova, Ukraine, Belarus, Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia. We're very familiar with Russian efforts to try to undermine fair and free elections in those countries, except Belarus, because there is no fair and f free elections in, in, in Belarus. But again, in Ukraine, Moldova, and in so Baltic what's new? countries, Arash, what's new in very the intimately familiar. And if you remember, the U.S., if, you know, Scott just said that President Obama had no interest in helping anti-Russian forces in uh, in the U.S. around the world. That is not true. Look at what we did in Ukraine. Oh, my Ukraine goodness. Oh, my God. You're, you're, down, Arash, you're down a country. rabbit hole. This, that law school thing is taking you all the way up 6th Avenue and take a left on 57th. Go ahead, Scott. Tell me what's new in this report. The, the thing that's new is that, for once, the Russians have been trying to do this for many years, and they have not been effective at it. The reason they were perhaps more effective at it, if we are to believe this report, is because Hillary Clinton provided them an ideal target. She compromised herself totally, and it says here that the Russians worked to undermine her credibility. She undermined her own credibility, mm -hmm. and it was merely the Russians that revealed it. They, the Russians have never claimed, nor have the Democrats claimed, that, that Russia manufactured this material, this email material. It's all genuine Democratic email. Arrest, because I'm a nice guy, and I like you a lot. I'll give you 15 seconds. Final thought. 
That is, that is simply not true. Unfortunately, the Russians found a very good ally in President-elect Trump, and that is very sad. And, Scott, here is, here is the, here is the moral I gotta dilemma. Go. That's For, it. Brother, I got to go. I'm sorry, Arash. Scott, thank you very much. Great debate, you guys. Up next, Donald Trump doubling down on his 